For this background, we're going to go to Safari and search up gold glitter background right here in the search bar. We're going to want to click on whichever one you like and we're going to save it to photos. Now let's go back to the Procreate and now let's enter the picture. Now that we've entered the image, we can get right to the background. So for the brush, we're gonna want to pick whichever one you want, really. I'm gonna pick the this one and we're gonna make this a little bit darker, kind of like a salmon color. And let's try to fill the whole screen with colors. Remember, for this one, you don't have to use this brush. You can use whichever one you want. Now let's go to our magic wand and press liquify. We're basically just gonna swirl the screen around to make a gold pink swirly background. I think that's good. It can have some white spots, that's perfectly okay. And now we're gonna add text. We're gonna make the color black, of course and edit style you can pick whichever one you want i recommend if you want one if you want to use one of the ones that's already here you can use this one savoy let or snell round hand even maybe this one but for now i'm going to pick one that i imported which is that one so it doesn't really have a name it's just now we're going to write our names make it Select it and make it bigger. I'm gonna make that a little smaller so it doesn't take up much space. You can focus on that right there. So let's center it. And that's pretty much it for this background. So you don't even have to do separate layers. It's pretty much just like that. So now we're gonna go to eraser and start our new background. Let's erase that background. And layer one, we'll just erase it all. Now, this is one of my favorite backgrounds because we get to use the brush that we already made in one of our previous videos. The link is in the description. It's called Rainbow Hacks on Procreate. And we're gonna pick our brush that's called Rainbow Brush. So, sorry about that. We're just gonna go to Stroke Prop to the brush studio, press stroke path, and we're gonna put the jitter at max. Now, we're gonna make this at whatever size you want. And for the color I'll pick pink, it's one of my favorite colors. So now, you can go like that, you can make it smaller, like that. But for now, we're gonna put it at maximum capacity. And we're gonna pick a darker, slightly more bright color Magenta. Now, once we have all that, we can just fill the whole screen and we're gonna go to the wrench icon and press add text. And once again, we're gonna be writing our names. But we can also write a quote. So for this, I think that I'll use a quote because we've already used our names in the previous background. So I'm gonna write B yourself everyone else is already taken and let's put a dot at the end that's a really good font and i think it fits that quote so let's put this a little bit more to the center just a little more and there we go that's it for this background and now i'm going to show you guys one more before we go so let's go here and erase all this and now we can start our new background so before i teach you guys how to make this next cool background i'm going to teach you guys something very important which is how to make this really cool highlighter brush this is what it looks like you can use it to highlight notes 
pick whichever color you want. You can go to light yellow or basically whatever you want. So we're gonna go to highlighter brush and first let's go to stroke path. You can copy that down and let's go straight on to taper. Everything is gonna be at zero, none, 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 and the tip is gonna be at sharp. Now in tip animation is gonna be on and classic taper is also on. So you can pause this video to customize it and well, let's go to shape. This part's very important. Um, so the scatter is gonna be at none. The rotation is gonna be at follow stroke, which is max. And all these little switches are gonna be disabled. So now let's go down and select improved filtering. Now let's head on to grain. The grain is, you're gonna go to moving and, sorry about that. You're gonna go to movement and Copy down all of those facts, and at green filtering, you're again going to put improved filtering. Now let's go to rendering. We're going to select intense glaze. The flows are going to be at 64, and everything else is, stays the same. On to wet mix. The dilution is going to be at none, the charge at 79, the attack at none, and basically you can just copy the rest down and pause this video. Now let's go to color dynamics. Every single thing is going to be at zero, unlike the other brushes that we made. Everything is at zero, zero, none, except for the hue and stroke color jitter, which is at 1%. But other than that, everything is at none. Now in dynamics, we're not going to change anything. And now we're going to go to where it says about this brush at the bottom, and we're going to name it highlighter brush. You can do whatever you want. I named it highlighter brush because most of the time I use it to highlight my notes. But you don't have to use it to highlight things. You can also do it for anything, basically. Like, for example, I can use it to write my name. It's really cool if you want to do things like that. But with now, let's just make our new background. So for this last one, we're not going to need any customized brushes. For this, we're only using the brushes that are already on Procreate. So we're going to go to Painting and select where it says Salamanca. Now, let's go to color and you can pick whichever color you want. You can even do black and it'll still look really great. So you can do it like that, but I prefer to do it pink because it's just my favorite color. There we go. Now, we're gonna make kind of like a blob and we're gonna make it small at the ends, make it bigger and then small again, like that. Perfect. Now that's not centered at all, so we're gonna select it by pressing the S and then the arrow. And we can move it around. So I think that would be good. Right about there. Perfect, that's great. Now let's press add text. And we should probably make a new layer for this, so. Let's add text. Pick the color, you can make it white, black, either way it's gonna look great. And we're gonna write a quote. So let's pick a different, or you can write your name, because it's your background, you can do whatever you want. So I'm gonna write a quote, and I'm gonna write kindness, kindness never goes out of style. There we go. This is a little big, it takes up a lot of space, so let's make that a little bit smaller. Just a little smaller. There we go. We're gonna put this in the center of that blob. And now we're done. So that's our background. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.